Hello and welcome to epi- Oh, one sec. <sighs> Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Stay In and Make Do. Today's project is going to be a motion detector that sends an alert to your phone. It's actually how I knew it was time to go and brew the tea because I've attached my micro bit to the lever on my kettle so when it springs back up when the water's boiled I get a notification. But there's lots of other ways you can use it. You might want to know if someone moves something or you could put it on a door and find out when someone enters or leaves a room or you can use it to check whether the cats have got into the coat rack again. For this project, your code's going to look slightly different depending on how you decide to use it. But I'll show you mine and you can adjust it as necessary. As usual, start with an if block. For me, the condition of my if is going to look like this. If the acceleration strength is less than 850. That's because of the orientation I've got my micro bit in and because it doesn't move a lot when the lever of the kettle comes up. But if you've got yours stuck to a door or something, you might be better off with one of these gesture blocks. Then the phone notification. For this, not only are we going to the advanced menu, we're also going to go to extensions, which you might not be able to see down the bottom here. The one we want is called devices. This adds a whole new category of blocks to your editor. We want this raise alert block and this is able to interact with our phone. I'm going to choose vibrate. That's the code done, but for the micro bit and the phone to talk to each other, they have to be paired over Bluetooth. To do that, download the official micro bit app and then follow the directions. For my Android phone, that meant holding the A and B and reset buttons on the micro bit until a pattern appeared on the screen and then tracing that pattern into the app. You could also try making a pressure sensor using some cardboard, some kitchen foil and some foam. Take two pieces of cardboard and cover them both with kitchen foil, then attach a wire to each of them. Run one of the wires to a pin on your micro bit and run the other one to ground. Then put one piece of cardboard on a surface and use some bits of foam to suspend the other sheet above it. Now, if someone puts pressure on that top piece of cardboard, the kitchen foil is going to touch and complete the circuit. Now, all you have to do is stay in, make do, and monitor everything. One to one pin of the micro bit. This is why we script things. We script things because we're bad at talking. That was pretty good, actually.